Hey crafty family, it's me and you're in my kitchen and my kitchen is a mess and I apologize. I'm going to show you how to um, rust some things. So for instance, I've got a barrage of charms, which I'm hoping you can kind of see. All different stuff, all different types of metal, little antique brass pieces, safety pins, which are one of my favorite things to rust all different kinds, a piece of metal chain, little charms that are stuck together, just all kinds of different things. As long as it's metal and not aluminum, but regular metal, you can rust it or patina it depending on what it is. It'll kind of either give you a patina look or a rust look. Either way, it's going to look really cool. So what you're going to do is get yourself a glass jar or glass, something glass with a lid on it. Um, but make sure it's glass. And you're going to put your charms in, whatever you want to rust. Now this only takes about a day, whereas other methods take days and days and days. You're going to put in two parts vinegar. This is white vinegar. If I, I didn't have the bottle, the bottle was too big for me to try to do that on camera. So this is just white, regular white vinegar. You're going to put enough to cover your charms. And then you're going to put about half that amount, so it's two parts white vinegar, one part peroxide. But, you know, if you're not perfect, it doesn't really matter. So just throw in some peroxide. It'll all be good. And then the magic happens when you add salt, which I don't have for some reason. Where's my salt? There it is. Got the salt. You're going to add about a tablespoon, not a tablespoon, a teaspoon. So I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to sprinkle enough in. About a teaspoon. Just sprinkle a bunch in. And then you're going to put your lid on. Like so. And wash it around. Wash it, wash it, wash it. And that's all you need to do. Now let it sit. Don't touch it. Don't let anybody touch it. Let it sit, I don't know, a couple hours maybe. You know, you, you'll see it. It'll start. What'll happen is the water's, the, well, it's not water. The mixture is going to turn really rusty gross like within probably a half hour. And so you want to leave it in there a couple hours maybe. Just leave it in a couple hours. And what, I'll, what we'll do is we'll come back to it in like two hours or so. And I'll show you what it looks like. And then we'll do the next step, which is really, really simple. So I'll be back. Look at that. It's been like not even an hour. And the water, water. The mixture is black, practically. It is so gross. But that's what it's supposed to be doing. So... Let's let it keep doing that for a little longer and then we will come back. Okay, it's been two hours and it's nice and frothy and gross. So what I'm going to do is take this over to the sink and rinse this out, um, obviously without dumping my charms out. And um, not rinse it out. You're not going to rinse it. So don't put any water in this. Just All you're doing is just dumping out the, what's in here and leaving the charms at the bottom. Don't put any water in here. Um, so that's all I'm going to do, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I rinsed it out. Not rinsed it out. I keep saying rinse. I did not rinse it out. I just dumped out the stuff. See, because it's still in there a little bit, and the, and the charms are in there. Um, you know, you can wear gloves for this next part, or wear gloves when you go to, to empty it out, empty out the yuck. Um, I would just run your water down your drain to, you know, to make sure it all goes, to, you know, the liquid all goes down the drain. And then what I do is I take a plastic bag so that it doesn't get on my counter and I put it under a wad of paper towels. So I have a couple there. I'll put a few more down. Maybe I'll fold it because there's not that much. Okay. And then I'll just take everything in here and it's the liquid's going to come with it. So a little bit of liquid. But that's why I have the plastic and the paper towels. And I'm going to dump that out and then I'm going to rinse that out but see here is what we got 
and uh, let me see let me get something uh, well I don't have anything with me but I will show you here's everything um, I don't want to touch it with my hands but I'll use this because you know the stuff that's on it is corrosive so you don't while it's while it's wet like it is you want to let it obviously spread it out a little bit on the paper towel like so and you can see look at the difference already you can see the rust forming on it already and how it's all kind of changed from being bright silver and it's gonna go even more it's gonna corrode even more and get rusty even further as it sits out in the air so you're just gonna spread it out use a popsicle stick or something I just stupidly didn't grab anything out of my room just spread it out a little bit and then let it sit for out you know probably a good you know just hours just let it sit until it pretty much all dries up once it's all dried up then you can just take a paper towel and dry each individual rubble any excess uh, stuff off of it and you know once you do that it's ready to go so I just usually would take it each piece and rub it with a good paper towel after it's all dry and then you're good to go then you just put it into a, c a container or whatever and you know you can use them at that point and touch them I just wouldn't touch them while they're wet once they're dry it's fine but while they're wet it's because it might irritate your hands a little bit because it's a corrosive. I mean, I'm not going to die if I touch it, you know what I mean? But, you know, you don't want to have sit there with all this that on your hands completely. Because um, it's just peroxide and vinegar, I mean. But when you add salt to it, it becomes kind of a corrosive. So, um, yeah. So you're just going to do that and let it sit until it dries. And then from there, you can just rub everything off with a little paper towel and put it into a container. And then you've got your your little bits and it'll turn out rusty and I'll cut now to my room where I have my rusty ones from before so I'll be right back and so okay after everything is dry and you've rubbed it off with a paper towel you're gonna get these cool antique looked looking antique looking can't speak um, things which look either rusty or patinaed one of the two but like look at that that was a silver charm, but it's all patinaed and rusted and rusted and the, the pins, they're not all completely rusted, but they've got that old look and that's kind of the point. I mean, you could leave it sit in the liquid if you really want it like rusty, rusty, rusty. Leave it sitting there for a longer period of time and then when it's sitting out on the paper towel, like how we just, how you just saw it, as it starts to dry, just keep squirting it with some more um with some more water or you can make a solution in a squirt bottle of the vinegar and the peroxide and a little bit of salt and you can just squirt it on it as it dries and as it as it, every time it starts to dry squirt it some more and it'll just keep rusting and rusting and rusting and rusting and rusting um you can do that from the get-go if you want to do it that way it's a little bit of a longer process but if you don't want to make a jar full of stuff you could just make a squirt bottle and just lay your charms out you know just lay your silver charms out and uh just squirt them and every time they start to dry squirt them it takes longer it'll take a few days to do that but it'll work but i like doing it this way because it's easy and you get a you get a good patina and or good patina and rust like that was bright silver but it's look it looks all like really cool everything looks really cool so yeah, so that's how you do that. And then you have these charms you can use in your vintage stuff. So if you go to make like a vintage junk journal or a vintage journal or vintage card, you can like put some of these charms hanging from it, you know. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you'll give it a try if you like that kind of look. I know some people don't really like this type of thing, but I do. So if you like it, give it a try. And let me know uh, if you like it by giving me a thumbs up on this video and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know if you've ever tried this method or if you think you're going to try it or if you've done something different to rust things. Let me know what you've done. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're if you haven't already, please subscribe um, and hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button so that you get uh, notified of any of my live streams and new videos that go up. And um, yeah, share this video. And uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. 
I hope you have a good week. Make sure you do what you love and love what you do and be nice to people. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.